What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's money play of the week, we're gonna be taking a look at a play from the Shotgun Normal Wing New York, and um, this is a play that you can use in combination with the Giant Slot Trail to really force your opponent to have to adjust. And really, it's very difficult for them to stop uh, everything you can do here. So let me grab the uh, second controller, and once again, I have to turn off that stupid vibration. Um, wish you could just turn it off. Like on PlayStation, you can just turn it off on the controller. Xbox, you have to do it in your settings, so you have to sign in as a profile that has it disabled. But enough about that. The play we're going to look at today, uh, it can beat man and zone. It can beat the blitz. It can beat max coverage. And that's what I love about this play. Um, and I, it, there's, it's never a wrong time to call this play. So the play is from the Normal Wing New York. And the play we're going to look at today is the Comeback Z Post. And we're just going to back up here a little bit uh, to show the true power of this play. Okay, so... It has a couple of... You don't have to hot out anybody on this play. That's one thing that makes it really nice. You can just quick hike it if you want. Uh, but the first read on this play is going to be your running back on the backfield. And I'm just going to cycle through your reads first. Your second read on this play is going to be uh, your tight end. Your third read on this play is going to be your streak. Your fourth read is going to be your post route. And then your last read is going to be your comeback. We're going to run all of these reads against two men under and show you how, how effective they are. And that's what makes this play so good. All right, so first read against two men under is the running back, and you see he's just going to drop out. If you have a guy, you know, if you have a guy with good catch, he will typically will catch that. Um, I just love the animation he gets, and it, it's really more of a, a, a play where if they're going something like this right here and they're sending heat, then we can easily just drop it out to the back or something. So this is more for um, just a quick read to have. Next read on this play is the tight end, remember? So we're just going to hit him. When he snaps back, we're going to pass lead it down, and he's going to be open. There's two quick reads. Third read is the streak, so not there, not there. And then we just lob that streak over the top. It gets two men under. It's going to crush it. Just lob it over the top when it starts to light up. So uh, real quick, I want you to pay attention to Eric Decker's icon. And then um, when it lights up, the ball should be launched here. So wait, 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 lights up, and I just lob pass it over top. I do not pass lead. I just lob, I just tap triangle uh, or Y on Xbox 360. All right, so that's your third read. Fourth read is Demarius Thomas. It's an unbumpable post route, and it's just basically like a deep end route. It, it works really effectively, it, and it beats man coverage, so we ha that's why I keep it on here. And then your uh, last read is Wes Welker on the comeback route. So no, 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 and then comeback route money this year. I think a lot of people have underestimated the power of comeback routes because of the the late read they are, but they're so good against cover to sink and stuff like that that has people that should technically have people in position, they just don't cover it for some reason. So that's this uh, play here, guys. Let's talk about this play against zone coverage. Uh, first, I want to focus on it from a cover two. So cover two, and this is what I really, really love about this running back route is it cr kills zone. Uh, you see, uh, and you got to make sure, do not throw the ball until their icon lights up. That's almost uh, something I've been learning a lot this year. But wait, icon lights up, and I get the ball to Hillman. And you see it just gets in a really tender area on the zone. You can maybe break a tackle uh, with the way the run free system is this season. Uh, then our second read here is going to be Thomas. Again, uh, pass lead that down, and they cannot intercept it. The most they can do is what you saw right there, catch tackle. Typically that won't happen if you have a Jason Witten. Uh, so that's why I, run, I really like this with the Cowboys. Third read is Decker. Uh, this will not always... It won't always beat the cover two, um, but sometimes it will. So here we'll see. Wait, wait, and then just lob it over the top, and you see that it's just uh, it's just one of those routes that they just don't cover. Um, what they're going to have to do to stop that is they're going to have to go through and call cover two and put Carter in a deep blue zone. If they do that, now you see Carter's going to stay deep, and even then it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Decker and Carter. So, But again... You're, that's your third read. Fourth read is the deep in route uh, to Thomas, and it'll again it'll still be open against zone. What I love about this read is it's uh, basically we create a levels idea uh, here with with uh, Thomas and Decker, uh, and basically you just work off of that. And then of course your last read will certainly be open against cover two. Um, this comeback route just gets in a very tender spot. I really love comeback routes this year. So there's cover two. Uh, let's hop into cover three real quick. Uh, first read is the running back. 
and you see it gets in a, again another tender very tender area against zone coverage um, third read or second reads the tight end just pass lead it down into the right and you see it's just gonna it's gonna be tough to stop it uh, be honest I mean you know those two reads right there are very hard to stop it in them themselves uh, third read this is kinda where you can stop this third read but what I like to do is I'll just pass lead it to the left and you see it's it kinda gets underneath the zones so it works really well like last year we used um, we used uh, inside pass lead streaks this year I think we're gonna be wanting to use outside pass lead streaks all right, and then our fourth read is this deep in route. Uh, I like to lob it up against cover three. Just uh, and I pass, I still pass it in. I just lob it because so so that the spacing works properly. You can't bullet it against cover three like you can against two man under and that stuff. Just because the spacing doesn't work right. I mean you can, but you run the risk of throwing an interception. So make sure you practice that before and make sure you feel confident with it. And then your last read against cover three is Wes Welker. We know this will be able to beat cover three. Um, just pass lead it to the left and uh, pass lead it about seven o'clock there. The last coverage I want to show you is the cover four. Uh, again, first read here. Um, remember, you have to wait till he lights up uh, two times today. I haven't, and they've both been incompletions. But when I wait till he lights up, you see he gets a really good animation on that little block and release pattern. That's what I love about his route. Second read is uh, left no, and then you're just going to pass lead down, and Thomas will be open. Fourth read, uh, this is where I really like Decker's route. Uh, down, no, and we're just going to pass lead that to the inside. we got to click on and we got to under, undercut the ball. Um, you don't want to overrun it, as I do have a habit of doing that. You just want to kind of pass lead inside and then just come underneath it, um, just like last year where you would use or catch those inside pass lead streaks. Fourth read is Thomas coming across the middle of the field right there and it just gets in very tender spots on these zones and then uh, last read is the comeback it may be covered against cover four um, well actually no it's still open so that's really nice so uh, beats every every route beats every coverage in the game uh, and that's that's really good to have in one play especially a play that can complement in my opinion what is the best passing play uh, in man 25 but uh, Excuse me, th this is going to be a new series we're going to be starting to do. Uh, try to give you guys a little bit more money plays offensively. I spent a lot of time on defense, and uh, I want to start I want to start teaching some offense, uh, and I want to start learning some offense, obviously, because sometimes my offense is way below average. So uh, thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, need further instruction, let me know. If you have anything you'd like to add to this video or anything you'd like to take away from this video, let me know in the comments below, and we'll talk about it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to come back next week for another great Madden 25 money play. We'll see you then.